Hi everyone, I hope everyone's having a great day. Today I will be reviewing a pair of pants. Here are the Jackson Napier convertible cargo pants in the black colorway. Insane pair of pants, I got them right before my trip around May. I have been wearing them ever since and I love them so much. So I bought this pair of pants directly from their website. Initially I was having some payment issues because I only wanted to use my PayPal balance but in the end the owner Jackson was very kind and patient towards settling things with me and working things out. I appreciate it a lot. Now these are a pair of two-in-one cargos. At the knee area there is a hidden zipper. After unzipping the portion at the bottom could be detached and they could be converted into a pair of shorts. So when the pants arrived the straps were insanely long. All of the straps were dragging on the ground. When I wore it, I looked like a human jellyfish. It gave off a really cool look though. I really wanted to preserve the original length of the straps to review them, but I was rushing for my trip. I did try to tie them up or rubber band the middle portion and tuck them into the pockets. It worked out for a bit. After trying to access the pockets, the straps were spilling out and it got a bit frustrating. So I decided to just cut them off so it would be a lot more functional when I'm walking around. If I'm not wrong, I have a clip of me trying to shorten the length of the straps. If I'm able to find it, I'll include it right here. I was cutting them off at 3 a.m. in the morning. I was using my favorite pair of parachute pants from 3D Pocket as reference for the straps. It really helped a lot. I wanted the straps to drape nicely without touching the ground, but at the same time, not too short. So these pair of pants came in very handy as a reference. And I know many of you guys have been asking about these pair of pants. It's a one-off vintage item from 3D Pocket. You can check his Instagram out. But with that aside, I think that the Jackson Napier pants are a very good alternative to that. And honestly, I can't wait to show you guys details of the pair of pants to show you how I would style it and give you my thoughts on it. Here is a first look at the pants. Starting off, this is the packaging that came with the pants. Here is a first look at the pants and it is constructed with a thinner cotton twill material. At the top, there are belt loops which is a nice addition for you to use a belt when necessary. At the fly, it is kept very simple and clean without any buttons or metal fasteners. There is a zipper fly. At the side of the waist, there are two straps on each side. I have shortened the length of the strap. Moving down, there are two front facing pockets with an angular pocket flap. There are no velcros or button snaps to secure the pockets. It is left in a very minimal and raw state and I am a big fan of how it looks. Proceeding down on both sides, you have this curved pocket compartment. It is left exposed and it is massive. You can fit a lot of stuff inside. It ends off around here and because it is left exposed, you can slot in oversized items easily. For me, when I was traveling, I was using it to store my water bottle. Along these curved pockets are also two straps on each side. Here's how it looks like after the straps are tightened. It is probably to fasten and secure the big pockets. Along the pants there are also seams going down giving the pants structure as well as adding to the design of the pants. For example this seam which goes down and on the inside it transitions to a pleat. Next we have the side pockets in the middle of the pants. The pockets are positioned in a slanted angle and I really love the look of it. And on each side of the pockets, there are more straps. Same for the side pockets, the flaps do not have any velcros or snap buttons. It is nicely sized so you can store many items inside and it is also 3D which adds to the silhouette of the pants. Located beneath the side pocket is a flap which reveals a zipper. This zipper goes all the way around the pants which allows you to convert them into shorts. And finally, ending off, there are strings located at the leg opening area, which allows you to adjust the width of the bottom hem to your preference. You can leave it untied and let the pants drag on the ground till it gets distressed. Or you can tie them up, balloon the pants till it sits nicely on top of your shoes and the bottoms would not get damaged. And also one point worth noting, the section on this side could be zipped up and installed on the other side of the leg if you do not like the look of the strings on the outside. Here is the inner tag with the branding and this is the only tag on the inside. Here is a back view of the pants. The design is pretty much the same as the front. In the middle here, you have a circular cutout pattern. Now moving on to sizing, I'm normally a waist 30, 31 in pants. When I was trying to buy the pants, he was only left with a size M, which fits a waist 34 according to his size chart. When chatting with him, he told me that he could alter the waist to a size S, which supposedly fits a waist 32. And I went with that because I was really desperate to get the pants. 
in terms of how it fits, it fits slightly loose on my waist, so I'll definitely use a belt when I'm wearing it. For these pair of pants, I recommend going through the size and following the size chart on his website. So here is how the pants fit on me. I am 1.82 meters, about 71 kilograms. It fits longer in length with a wider leg opening. The back of the pants does drag on the ground for me, but it depends on the footwear you pair it with. Now I will convert the pants into shorts. As you can see, there is a flap which reveals the hidden zipper. After unzipping it, the bottom section could be removed and you will be left with shorts. Now to sum up my thoughts on the pants, first of all the quality, I paid about 240 USD for the pair of pants, they are not exactly um, very cheap, so I wish that packaging as well as the hang tags could be improved. Also I wish that the cotton twill could be slightly heavier or more durable fabric because it feels a bit thin. And lastly, the zippers. There's no branding on the zippers. I kind of wish that YKK zippers be used at least and it would be a lot smoother than the current ones. So for the price range, I wish that quality could be bumped up slightly. But with that aside, now I'll touch on the design. When I was buying the pair of pants, quality wasn't the highest priority, but rather the fit. For these pair of pants, he nailed the design. The pocket placements are so nice and I love how they jut out at the side, adding to the silhouette as well. The strap detailing is positioned very tastefully on the pants. You have a gradual flat fit with a longer length, which stacks very nicely. And lastly, they could be converted into shorts. Even after converting them into shorts, the fit looks amazing in my opinion. The design is just done so well. If he ups the quality of the fabrics and zippers, I would not mind paying more for the pants, I will be honest. If he makes this in a wash grey or an olive colour, Overall, I recommend the pair of pants for its fit, design, as well as functionality. If I'm not wrong, he still has the brown pair available in stock. I will be wearing this a ton till it gets destroyed. Do check out his Instagram as well as his website for his future designs. His other stuff are really nice as well. And I hope this video has given you the information you need on these pair of Jackson Napier convertible cargo pants. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Hi.